I am going to use some watercolor cardstock because I'm going to mix some pops of color with some Altenew embossing paste. And I love that when you add your pops of color to this white embossing paste, it really does not lighten the color up very much. And it doesn't matter if you overlap with your colors. That's kind of the point here because fall leaves really have that multicolored look to them. And so that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just mixing it up and I'm getting a nice consistency. I probably could have even used a little bit more of the uh, white embossing paste um, just to get more product. And we're gonna show you what this looks like. I'm gonna add a little bit of loose glitter while it's wet and that's just gonna add a nice little sparkle to it. I'm going to be doing some paper piecing and I'm using the Rose Bloom Slimline background die from scrapbook.com and their scrapbook.com adhesive sheets. So I just put some of the adhesive sheets there on a piece of white cardstock and then off camera I just ran that Rose Bloom die through my die cut machine. And then I'm gonna take a piece of red glitter paper from the Rainbow Glitter Paper Pad. I'm also gonna put some double-sided adhesive sheets on this piece and use that same die and run this through my die cut machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the backing from the Rose Bloom die cut piece and add it to a slimline card base. And then I'm gonna piece back in some of these roses that I die cut with the glitter paper. So off camera, I added the word love. I only used the outline. I did not use the inside pieces and that completes this card. And I'm going to be using this die to create a card using the glitter card stock and put all of that glitter in the curves of the rainbow and it's gonna look so pretty. I also pick out a blue color from the Rainbow Smooth paper pad and all of these sheets will be run through the die cut machine using that Rainbow Slimline die. I also die cut a piece of white cardstock and that's going to be for the frame. So now I could go ahead and start piecing in all of these pieces of cardstock. So I did start out with the smooth blue piece to represent the sky. And now I'm just going to glue in each one of these glitter pieces. So look at all that glitter, isn't that so pretty? I go ahead and die cut the word dream out of the downtown alphabet letters and add it to the front of the rainbow. And then I'm also using this die from Waffle Flower. It's the outline clouds die. So I die cut these deer dies using one of the glitter sheets from the mixed metals paper pad. I'm also bringing in this scrapbook.com jewels cardstock, which is A2 in size. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm also going to be using a stencil from Spellbinders called All the Stars. And I'm going to be bringing in the scrapbook.com silver pops of color. And when you remove the stencil, look at all of those silver stars on that dark paper. So I also have this slimline die. It's a Sunny Studio slimline nature die and I die cut some white cardstock. I'm going to use that for some snowy hills. And then the Sunny Studio rustic winter die set also has the tree dies which I die cut out of some white cardstock. So next I'm going to add my deer to the scene and I'm also going to use the word joy as my sentiment out of some red glitter paper. This is from the rainbow pad. So here is a card that I'm gonna quickly make and use those glitter letters. So this time I just die cut the star background out of some white cardstock and I'm gonna glue it on a piece of the hot pink glitter paper from that rainbow slimline glitter paper pad. I go ahead and add the letters celebrate in all of those glitter cardstock colors that I previously cut out. And then I'll just add that card front to a card base. And here are my two celebrate cards using all of the pieces in those die cut alphabet letters. 